Tempest here, and welcome to the Transmogrification Guide. In this, we will cover how to find the gear you want, easy ways to get cool gear, and how it works. First off, let's go over how to transmogrify. Basically, the idea is you have two items, one that you use because it gives you good stats, and one that you think looks shiny. So what you do is you run off to one of these transmogrification guys and get them to make your useful item look like your shiny item. That's the basics of it, however it also has some rules about how it works, so let's take a quick look at those. Now Blizzard itself stated that these rules could change over time, so for the full list please take a look at the URL in the description. Now your character must be able to equip both the items, and both items must be the same item type. So a one-handed axe can only be transmogged into another one-handed axe. The same thing applies with armor. Cloth can be transmogged to cloth, leather to leather, mail to mail, and plate to plate. However, bows, crossbows, and guns can be transmogged into each other, so a gun can be made to look like a bow. Legendary items cannot be used to transmogrify another item or be transmogrified themselves. Again, for the full list, please have a look at the URL in the description. Now, easy ways to get gear. The easiest way to get gear is to buy it with currencies, so honor points, justice points, and gold. First, first off, with the honor points, most people will know that you can buy max level PvP gear with honor points. But what they might not know, or what they might not think of, is that all honor gear from older versions of WoW is still available through the Legacy Armor and Legacy Weapons vendors, which will be in the same room as the current gear. When it comes to justice points, they're scattered around everywhere. You can buy the level 85 tier gear, or you can go back in time and have a look at the old vendors in Dalaran, supply the Watluck tier gear, or visit Shatrith to get some old level 70 gear. To see the locations of all these vendors, I will do a video showing where they are, so be sure to subscribe so you can see when it comes out. Remember that when looking at an item, you can hold down control and left click on the item icon or even the link in chat in order to see what the item would look like on you. Finally, how to find the gear you want. WoW is filled with gear and with so many people playing it, what looks good is going to differ from person to person. So instead of showing you how to get a few cool pieces of gear, I will show you how to find what you want. First off, there is an add-on I recommend to anyone out to get some awesome looking gear, and it's called Atlas Loot. I will put an URL in it, the description for you. So how do you sort through all this to find what you want? So you open Atlas Loot, and the first thing you're going to notice is a bloody great big window with lots of buttons at the bottom. The button buttons at the bottom allow you to jump to various sections of the guide, so in collections you're going to find mostly tier gear as well as some miscellaneous items. So let's have a look at the tier, old tier set. And then you're going to see a whole bunch of classes pop up. Now you're just going to want to pick the class that you're interested in. Now remember to hold down control and then left click on the items in order to have it appear on your character and underneath the item name is generally how you get the item, what boss it drops from, or uh, what currencies you buy it with, or what quest you can get it with, etc. Now bear in mind that not all of the skill will be obtainable anymore, so it may refer to bosses that, are, that may not exist anymore or may have been updated. Now if you can't find the gear you're looking for in the collections tab, you can easily just search for it using the search tab, or you can even search for a general item, like for example shoulder. Then when you click search it will bring up all the shoulders it has, or anything that it has the keyword associated with shoulders, that would be include things with re like recipes. And then you can just cycle through them, and control left click them, see if one takes your fancy and just have a look at the name, see where you get it from, and go off and get it so you can shrug smog into Now you can also use this add-on to go into the PvP rewards or the crafted tab, see if any of that gear is more up your street. And it can also be used for more than just transmogrification. You can have a look at what bosses you need to do in order to get the gear that you may need 
you can just go into one of the drop down menus from above, quite close to the top of the title, and select one of the raids or instances and have a look at where the item you're after drops from. So you can see whether it's the trash you need to kill or which boss you need to kill to get your item. Thank you for watching and please feel free to comment, rate and subscribe.